Hi everyone, this is Michael Eilbrock with Diesel Laptops and I'm going to show you the Diesel Tablet software. This is going to be the first video in a series of videos uh, describing the tablet and how to use it. Okay, so uh, this tablet is basically dubbed as a triage tool, uh, which is kind of cool. And it's got a lot of nice features to it. I've used this for a while and it's a pretty good uh, scan tool. For on trucks and then also on the cars uh, so I'm really excited to show this to you so to get started uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over these tabs real quick and then we'll get into hooking up to the truck and then I'll show you how to check codes and then I'll show you some other things as well okay so the first tab here is the diagnosis tab you'd click on this here or you would push it on the screen with your tablet to access it and then we have repair information training and these two tabs basically here link you to repair information and training right away from the tablet so you don't have to search around for it for you know a million years trying to find it so it's actually very uh, nice to have in front of you and it's going to make your technicians more efficient getting to the information that they need or if they want to get some training or if they want to buy something from our store so that's also very cool too then uh, this tab here is the upgrade tab anytime there's any new upgrades uh, for the software you'll click on this it'll let you know if you have any and then you can upgrade your software then we have toolbox right here and I'll just click on this to show this real quick on toolbox you get your camera your internet browser calculator and your file manager so you can also you know surf the web online as well so that's really neat and then to go back to the main screen we just have to click on this arrow right here so I'm gonna go back and then as you can also see here we have a saved file uh, where you can save all your scan files and stuff uh, to look at for later for, you know for later viewing and then we have the remote help button, which is really cool because with this, it links you in with TeamViewer, and then you just enter in your ID and password. And then someone from Diesel Laptops at Tech Support or me, you know, for training, then you want me to help you, then I can just use the remote help button and I can go right into your tablet and I can assist you. <clears throat> then the last tab down here is the feedback tab. And in this tab, it's basically being used to give us information when something isn't working properly with the tablet. You just click on this, you fill in your information, and then uh, that gets sent to us, and then we fix your issue, okay? So to begin the, the first part here, we're gonna go right in the diagnosis, okay? So I'm gonna click on diagnosis, and as you see here, there are different options that you can use uh, to pick what you want. So if you want to see everything, you just have all. If you just want to see recent vehicles you're hooked up to, then you can do this. And then if you just want cars, you click on automotive because this will work on cars as well. And then if you don't want that, you just want truck, you go to commercial truck. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, hook up to the truck I'm on now, which is a Peterbilt. And we're going to look at codes and then I'll show you some other information as well. So this is a, actually a pretty cool tool and it's, it's pretty fast too. So let me click on Peterbilt. And as you can see here, it's showing a list of updates for the diagnostic software for Peterbilt. And then it also gives you an introduction as well down here as to what this all entails so if i just uh scroll up with my finger here you'll see special functions that you get so dpf regeneration cylinder cutout injector test advanced ecm data uh compression tests you know stuff like that it's basically telling you what the software is going to be able to do for you so the next thing we're going to do is i'm just going to click on the ok button right here And it's connecting. So now you get a couple different uh, options. 
You can either just hit automatic search, you can do a manual selection, or you can connect directly to the cab uh, module. But what I like to do is in these uh, situations where it's a vehicle that I've never hooked up before, and I don't know what I have, I just like to do an automatic search. So I'm gonna click on automatic search. And right now it's going through the modules and it's scanning and seeing what it has. Okay, so it just finished the system scan, and we've got some options here on how we want to approach uh, an issue. So you can either go into engine, we've got brakes for Bendix, we got retarder engine, and then we've got cab controller primary. So we're going to just go into engine, so I'm just going to click here to enter, and then I'm going to do another automatic search, because I don't know what engine is in here. So let's click automatic. And here we go. So our, we've got the PACCAR common rail injection module, uh, the, the ECM basically for the engine. And then we also have a module for the after treatment system on this truck. So we're just gonna go into engine and let me click on common rail injection. It's connecting. And it's connected it's telling us the software number software version hardware number and the vin and that's good information to have then you just we're just going to click on yes and we're now in like the main diagnostic screen for the uh, engine so you have system information clear diagnostic trouble codes actuation tests customer parameters read diagnostic trouble codes data stream and special functions so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to hook up to, uh, or actually I'm going to scan the codes. I'm going to read the diagnostic trouble codes. Click on that. And here's all our codes. So what's cool about this is if you look at the box for each code, if you notice there is three boxes, one says freeze frame, the other says code search. And then the other one says data stream. Okay, so for example, let's go to inlet air temperature, inlet manifold voltage too high or short circuit the supply. Okay, so it's a P0113. Let's remember that. And let's go to code search. And this is what is so awesome about this tool. it takes you right into repair information. So this is a PACR. Click on that. It's a 2014. And it's an MX-13 engine. And then the fault code is P0. Actually, hold on a second. There we go. Oh. There we go. Sorry about that. Now I'm going to hit search. And here we go. So it tells you what the code is. Inlet air temperature and in inlet manifold voltage too high or short circuit supply on ECU D420 pin A43. 
So if you want to know more about this code, you just click on read more. And it gives you information on what the DTC is and how to troubleshoot. So here's the troubleshooting page. Let's just scroll up a little bit here. So it talks about how the code sets, possible causes. Troubleshooting steps. And what's really neat about this here is it gives you a green for go or to go the next step or a red or a red and it'll tell you to go to a different step. So it's guided troubleshooting to help you. So this is just a really awesome feature that Diesel Laptops has developed for this uh scan tool so this this is just great i love how this is laid out so now let's just go back and we're going to exit and the next thing that i'm going to show you is if you look up here you get a battery voltage indication so you know your batteries have a decent charge you know while you're using the tool so that's nice Let's get out of here. <clears throat> and I think uh, we're going to end this part here. And then the next part, we'll start off with looking at uh, actuation tests for the tool.